the entrance antiphon. As gold in the furnace, the Lord put his chosen to the test. As sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself, and in due time they will be honored, and grace and peace will be with the elect of God. century, one of the Ugandan martyrs. And we offer this morning's Mass for our people of St. Martin de Porres Parish. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most greatest fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by St. Charles Rwanda and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Tobit. When the angel Raphael and Tobiah had entered Medea and were getting close to Ecpatan, Raphael said to the boy, Tobiah, my brother, he replied, Here I am. He said, Tonight we must stay with Raoul who is a relative of yours. He has a daughter named Sarah. So he brought him to the house of Raoul, whom they found seated by his courtyard gate. They greeted him first. He said to them, Greetings to you too, brothers. Good health to you and welcome. And he brought them into his house. Raoul slaughtered a ram from the flock and gave them a cordial reception. When they had bathed and reclined to eat, Tobiah said to Raphael, Brother Azariah, ask Raoul to let me marry my kinswoman Sarah. Raoul overheard the words, so he said to the boy, Eat and drink and be merry tonight, for no man is more entitled to marry my daughter Sarah than you, brother. Besides, not even I have the right to give her to anyone but you, because you are my closest relative. But I will explain the situation to you very frankly. I have given her in marriage to seven men, 
all of whom were kinsmen of ours, and all died on the very night they approached her. But now, son, eat and drink. I am sure the Lord will look after you both. Tobiah answered, I will eat or drink nothing until you set aside what belongs to me. Raoul said to him, I will do it. She is yours according to the decree of the book of Moses. Your marriage to her has been decided in heaven. Take your kinswoman. From now on, you are her love, and she is your beloved. She is yours today and ever after. And tonight, son, may the Lord of heaven prosper you both. May he grant you mercy and peace. Then Raoul called his daughter Sarah, and she came to him. He took her by the hand and gave her to Tobiah with these words. Take her according to the law, according to the decree written in the book of Moses as your wife. Take her and bring her back safely to your father. And may the God of heaven grant both of you peace and prosperity. Raoul then called Sarah's mother and told her to bring a scroll so that he might draw up a marriage contract stating that he gave Sarah to Tobiah as his wife according to the decree of the Mosaic law. Her mother brought the scroll and Raoul drew up the contract to which they affixed their seals. Afterwards, they began to eat and drink. Later, Raoul called his wife Etna and said, My love, prepare the other bedroom and bring the girl there. She went and made the bed in the room as she was told and brought the girl there. After she had cried over her, she wiped away the tears and said, Be brave, my daughter. May the Lord grant you joy in place of your grief. Courage, my daughter. Then she left. When the girl's parents left the bedroom and closed the door behind them, Tobiah arose from bed and said to his wife, My love, get up. Let us pray and beg our Lord to have mercy on us and to grant us deliverance. She got up and they started to pray and beg that deliverance might be theirs. And they began to say, Blessed are you, O God of our fathers. Praised be your name forever and ever. Let the heavens and all your creation praise you forever. You made Adam, and you gave him his wife Eve to be his help and support. And from these two, the human race descended. You said, it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Now, Lord, you know that I take this wife of mine, not because of lust, but for a noble purpose. Call down your mercy on me and on her, and allow us to live together to a happy old age. They said together, Amen, Amen, and went to bed for the night. The word of the Lord. Thanks be Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. 
for you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be in favor. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is a man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, well said, teacher, you are right in saying, he is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with your whole heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, you are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. Not all the Pharisees and scribes were hostile to Jesus. We have Nicodemus as one incredibly good example. And here today, we have a scribe who approaches Jesus with no apparently hostile motive. He had seen how well Jesus had dealt with the challenges put to him by various people. He comes to ask Jesus, which is the most important commandment? There are more than 600 commandments in the Jewish law, and it is often asked which of these had priority over the others. Unusual for him, Jesus immediately answers the man's question. Was this because unlike on other occasions. It was asked with politeness and respect and was a genuine request for an opinion. In answering the question, Jesus does not give just one commandment, but two. 
Love your God with your whole heart and soul. Love your neighbor as yourself. Both answers are taken from the law of Moses and so satisfy his questionnaire's request. However, as we read through the New Testament, and especially the words of Jesus in the Gospel, we know that Jesus gives his own twist to these two commandments. First, in answering a question about which is the most important commandment, he gives two commandments, which, in his view, are quite inseparable. One cannot be kept without the other. We cannot say we love God and then fail to love our neighbor. He will extend the meaning of love of neighbor to include every single person and not just the people of one's own race religion, or family. And he will set as the standard of love, not just the love we are able to show, but the depth of love which we will show, he will show by dying for us. This scribe is incredibly pleased with the answer that Jesus gives and expresses full agreement. In that case, Jesus replies, you are not far from the kingdom of God. That is to say, the scribe is remarkably close to having the spirit of the gospel and to the following of Jesus. He still must make a crucial step of committing himself to follow Jesus and become actively involved in the work of the kingdom. However, we can make our choice to start today or renew our commitment to keep the double commandment and to reflect on how well we put them into practice. Amen. Amen. Together as one voice, let us offer our prayers to the Lord. For all those who serve a vocation to the priesthood or religious life, may God open their hearts to the promptings of his Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the leaders of nations, may the Holy Spirit guide them in enacting laws that protect all life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in troubled marriages, may Christ the Bridegroom grant them the graces needed for understanding and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For engaged couples in this faith community, may God bless them in their preparations for the sacrament of holy matrimony. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed. May the Lord soon welcome them to the eternal wedding feast of the Lamb. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for the people of St. Martin de Porres, the intention of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for 
our own personal intentions. And for all the intentions appearing in our parish book of intentions, let us pray to the Lord. For your Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Eternal and ever loving Father, look kindly on these petitions we bring in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, Become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit, touch our hearts, and we be accepted by you, O Lord, for their sacrifice and your son to save from the deeds of the Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, in my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters. That my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord sacrifice and your hands, that the grace and glory of the name, for our good and good of all of this holy church. We offer you sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Yes. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Yes. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, St. Charles Luanga, and his companions, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you.
in a similar way. When supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Timothy our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body of Christ, we can sing for each other. The communion amphipod. How precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his holy ones. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray, make us, in the face of trials, steadfast in faith and in charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Lord, Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God, May God give you him we humbly pray. Do thou, Do thou the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who proud throughout the world, seeking of their own souls. Amen. We'll give it just encourage if you can to how to sign up if you can for a half an hour slot for adoration tomorrow for First Friday. Just be aware that 11 o'clock is a funeral, so it'll end in the morning around 1045 and resume right after the 1245 Mass. But enjoy this beautiful day. Thanks, Bob. That's a 1215 Mass, right?